Hi everyone, my name is Sai Venom with the IBM Cloud Team. Today, the topic on everyone's minds, IBM and Red Hat. Now, our philosophy is straightforward. Red Hat works, so let's keep it that way. This includes preserving their independence, their culture, as well as their commitment to open source. Now, we're in a very unique position here. We're seeing rapid growth of applications being developed on the cloud, but that's linked with increasing complexity. The next chapter of cloud computing is going to demand flexibility and choice. That choice starts from the ground up when choosing the environments to run or modernize your applications. So you can choose public or private clouds or even on-premise environments. Building on that, we have the platform layer, which is supported by Red Hat's open source technologies. So we have Red Hat Enterprise Linux, as well as OpenShift. Now this is powered by open source technology, like Kubernetes. So coming back to choice, if we wanted to use native Kubernetes over OpenShift, that's also an option. Building on that, we have the capabilities layer. This is what developers need to develop engaging new applications. So this can include things like databases, maybe their favorite DevOps tool chains, or even their middleware platforms. So for example, we know that for running J2EE applications, developers may choose JBoss or WebSphere Liberty. Regardless of whether or not you choose Red Hat or IBM technologies, we'll continue to support both fully as we move forward. Finally, all of this is channeling our users to create newer, engaging applications by taking advantage of higher value services. This is where IBM truly shines. So these include AI and machine learning capabilities. To summarize, from the ground up, we have a hybrid multi-cloud platform where you can innovate anywhere. We have open source technologies that Red Hat provides, like OpenShift and Red Hat Enterprise Linux, all together with their suite of technologies. That, combined with IBM's commitment and expertise with enterprise, as well as our own suite of technologies, is opening new doors to hybrid cloud that we've never seen before. At the end of the day, it all comes down to an idea an idea that you build out into an application, an application built on industry best practices and follows security guidelines and compliances. Because we want the same thing that you do, and that is happy users. Thanks for joining me for this quick overview of Red Hat and IBM Synergy. If you've liked this video or have any comments, be sure to drop a like or a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe. Thank you.